Lee Bryant, what is the future of organizations in uh, the algorithm age? Well, I think um, it's a really interesting mixture of algorithms, software and data supporting humans in doing the smart work. So I like to think of augmented human intelligence as being the goal rather than artificial intelligence that might just automate things and replace people. And do we have to fear for our jobs? I mean, are machine, machines going to take our place in, uh, in our job? In some ways, yes, uh, but in many ways, no. Uh, so I think, you know, in all technological change, uh, we see lots of jobs lost and we see new jobs uh, created or old jobs become more interesting. Uh, and I think that's what we're going to see here. Uh, people think that it's low-level jobs which are at risk, but actually there are many management tasks which are ripe for automation and I think can be automated rather easily and in a way that would probably improve uh, the way that companies um, work. But I think we've got to look for um, uses of algorithms and uh, sort of intelligent data which are supporting people and helping them do their job better rather than trying to replace them. So a really good example that I mentioned in my, in my talk is uh, Toyota who are bringing back humans um, onto the factory line to work alongside small uh, helpful robots um, because they recognize that only humans can do the really creative stuff. You also say that we need uh, more leader and less manager. Yeah, so um, the culture of management in companies has gone too far. Um, you know, lots of people want to become managers with a position and a nice office and a budget and they will have the power in the organization. Um, and that's not really how organizations work these days. Um, you know, we have much more of a peer-to-peer -peer culture. You have developers, designers, production engineers, all these people know their job. They don't need to be told how to do their job. What they need is coordination and leadership towards a goal. And so real leadership where you can get people to follow you and you can take people forward towards a, a real stretch goal, that's a great thing. That's a magical quality. Um, but management, which is about meetings and processes and budget negotiations, that's less, in, less important and probably less interesting in the future. And are companies right now aware of this? I think they are. I mean, I, I do some teaching for uh, management development programs and I've met some very, very smart, uh, you know, up and coming managers who understand this completely. Um, and they want to be leaders in a networked, connected world rather than managers of a small uh, department, let's say. So I think there is an awareness of this, um, but it's, it's a change. It's a culture change and it will take a generation uh, for it to really work through to the top of these organizations.